Hey there guys, welcome to KBRC Hobbies. Anyways, uh, we're working on our frame for our Land Rover project right there. We're slowly working on it, doing some body work and such. And working on our frame. Uh, one of my favorite materials to use for building RCs is PVC plastic. It's easy to work with, easy to bend and such. And literally uh, the cheapest material you can ever find because it's everywhere. <laughs> so, and I have lots of it. So, I mean, I like aluminum and metal and stuff like that, but sometimes all these things are just pain in the ass to work with, as opposed to plastic. I'm used to working with plastic because I do a lot of stuff. Do, I do a fair amount of model building in general. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite materials. But the problem with PVC, it's hard to glue it. So you have to basically drill it and bolt it together, which I've done here. So this, fr this frame is pretty much the scale uh, well. <laughs> to uh, RC scale. Anyways, so, um, yeah, so, we made it a little bit longer than, than most, because we're going to make some brackets to attach the, the box and the, uh, the the box here and the cab to the frame, so it makes it look uh, somewhat realistic. We started working on the uh, axles and our bracketry for putting leaf springs, outer leaf springs, but um, they're not, they're not what I want and they're paying the ass to bolt on to uh, these axles. So this is going to be a fairly rigid frame. Uh, I mean, not like the original Land Rover have much suspension anyway. They kind of rode like a damn, uh, like, I don't know, something like a dumpster on an axle <laughs> where you know, there's, there's just no suspension. Just rough, 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 right? So anyways, um am sure what I got here. Now I've done this for different applications, so fluid and crew, but it works and gives it the rigidity, get, makes it super rigid. But you know, it doesn't take no time to make some little brackets and stuff like that and bolt them on there and such. So this is not everyone's cup. To, this is not everyone's cup of tea. I mean, a lot of people want to use leaf springs and such, but this is what I have. And basically, the plastic makes it kind of flexible anyway, so it's not a big deal, right? It's going to twist a little bit on the trail and stuff, which is okay. It's fine. So, there we have it. Just, it's a simple and easy way to do this. Um, you know, this is the way I like, kind of like doing it. Making it my own way this way, and still have to make uh, shackles for this, for these uh, these leaf springs. Well, it's supposed to be leaf springs. So I have to make some shackles to come off here. And I'm gonna bolt these to the shackles and such, and it'll be nice and rigid the way I like it. And then I have to figure out how to uh, adapt the dry shafts. I've done it before. I have to go back in my notes and remember how piece of research how I did it. It's been a while, so. I think how I did it last time is I, I cut the, uh, the, I cut this shaft off here and put a tube in there into the side there, and uh, made it work that way, and bolt it all together or a screw or pin or whatever the hell it was, and uh, makes it look, makes it look the part and runs. So, anyways, it's a lot to do on it. So we're just plucking away at it, you know, slow and steady, like the hare and the tortoise in a race. So. But yeah, anyways. Building assembly. <laughs> so so anyways, there you have it. So that's a short little update. Uh, so I'll post this one up on the YouTube for you guys to see. And just never be scared to use PVC. Don't listen to what people don't listen to other people tell you. You can use PVC, aluminum, steel, whatever you have uh, that's gonna work for you and use it and make your project. Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you.